So the um, study presented by the IDEA collaborators on three months of six months of full fox or K-box adjuvant therapy uh, was not exactly clear. The study was designed as a combined analysis of six international trials, all looking at part in this question of three versus six months, and it was designed as a non-inferiority trial. Hence, more than 12,000 patients were put into this analysis, a really huge effort. So they designed the study to have an upper limit of non-inferiority for the 95% confidence interval of three-year DFS to be no greater than 1.15. I'm sorry, to be no greater than 1.12. And in fact, the data came out a little bit worse than that. The 95% confidence interval extended from 1.0 to 1.15, which tells us we can be 95% confidence that three months is no worse than 15% less active than six months in a relative effect, and that's about 1.8% absolute difference in three months versus six months for three-year DFS. The interesting part of it is we'd still be 90% confidence that it would be under 1.12 or maybe 80% confidence it'd be less than 10% difference relatively. So under a 1% difference in three-year DFS for three more months of adjuvant therapy. And that's a lot. So when they looked at the subsets though for T3 N1, which were considered the low-risk stage threes, the hazard ratio was clearly in the non-inferiority range. And for the T4 or N2 patients, the high-risk group, it clearly was out of the non-inferiority range. So I think that that's probably the best way to look at these results, that we can be comfortable giving three months of therapy instead of six months reducing cost, toxicity, neuropathy, everything else involved with six months of adjuvant therapy for the low-risk groups. Additionally, and very interestingly, the studies were not randomized as to regimen of full fox versus K-box. In the Scottish trial, everybody got K-box, and that was a 3,500 patient trial. In the U.S. trial of 2,800 patients, everybody got full fox, for example. But when you look overall, K-Box seemed to be a little better than Full Fox in terms of activity and falling into the non-inferiority range. So personally, I'm more inclined to start using K-Box where I've been pretty much um, only giving Full Fox, but at this point I think we have to consider the fact that this huge database suggests that people getting K-Box actually do a little better than those getting Full Fox.